Okay, year eight. So this is um, the first worksheet that you will do on developing um, your understanding of graffiti art styles, techniques that graffiti artists use. In this one, we're doing the very first simple step of going from a simple letter, making it bold or thick. Um, sometimes people call it bubble writing. I don't like that term because it doesn't look like bubbles it's just fattened up and then the next stage is to make it look more like graffiti art by adding other shapes and patterns to it um, you see here I've got arrows very typical graffiti art style I'll do a little video to show you how I created this letter like, uh, like this one just here so you'll have that to help you as well okay so let's just have a quick look at the task just to make sure you understand so you're going to choose one letter. I've chosen the letter A, but you could choose your initial letter if you wanted to. And being as cre creative as you can, changing it in as many ways as you can think of. So we're not going to do just one letter. You're going to try and do lots and lots of different sorts of letters in different styles. I want you as well to try doing 2D and 3D lettering styles. As you can see, this is 2D. It doesn't look like it has any depth. But when we add things like, you can see on this arrow here, there's an arrow just the same, just behind it. That makes it look like this 3D because there looks like there's a depth between that arrow and that arrow. So that's how we end up creating that 3D space. And again, I'll show you that on the little video that I made for you. Um, and as I, as as always, you, sh you can do, if you get stuck and you're struggling for ideas, go and have a look online because there are so many different ideas online. Equipment, all the basic stuff that you would expect. Challenges, using guidelines. Again, that's something I'm going to show you in the little video I make for you if you're not sure about using guidelines. Making 2D and 3D shapes and as a challenge to try and create at least 10 different designs for one letter. So just the one letter doing it in at least 10 different ways, adding uh, colour neatly. So 10 is not a limit, 10 is a target. So if you start doing 9, 10 and you still think you've got more ideas, then just to carry on adding more different designs to it. So further down the worksheet, so I've shown you the steps just there and down at the bottom there we've got the evaluation as I usually put on the worksheets for you. So again, look at this before you start. So these are the, going to be the things that you evaluate yourself on. Have you sketched lightly and neat and using a rubber? This is one of those basic skills that you're always trying to improve at to really gain confidence at. Did you use guidelines? Did you create at least 10 different letter styles? Did you do 2D and 3D? And then lastly, choosing which is your you think is your most effective design um, and say why it's effective. What was it that you did that made that design look like the best design? Okay, so some art vocabulary. If you're not sure what these words mean, look them up. Make sure you've got you understand what these are. So sketch design, guidelines, style, 2D, 3D. If you don't want, understand what any of those mean, then you need to find out before you start. There's an extension there about adding colour to make your designs more effective. Now, this will be another worksheet that I'll do with you later on um, because there are lots of different ways in which graffiti artists um, use colour, um, either to create different patterns, and they often use blending, and we'll talk about that in more detail. So with this one, I just want you to be colouring, trying to make it effective, but don't worry too much about um, using particular graffiti art styles for colour. We'll look at that later on. You can just go and have a look online if you want some ideas to help you um, come up with ideas for what, how you can fill your, um, your lettering, letters in with colour. Okay.